Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. Kayla's here with me today, hey guys. letting us borrow her blonde locks that look amazing. And we're gonna show you the chain waterfall braid. So this one is definitely what I would say an intermediate hairstyle because it's a little different than a normal braid, but certainly doable as long as you're following the steps. So what do you think, Kayla? It's definitely pretty. Kayla keeps looking at it and going, it looks so pretty. It does look so good. So we will show you guys and let's get to the hair. Okay, to start this hairstyle, I'm gonna prep her hair with a little dry shampoo. You guys know I'm using Lazy Day from Heritage. This is just gonna help dry up any loose oil and it's also just gonna give the hair a little bit of texture, which we want going into styling. So get that ready. And then I'm gonna go to the front right here by her ear. I'm gonna leave her bangs out and I'm gonna pick up a, you know, like a one inch section, a little, a good size section, but not like crazy because we are going to use this to do the chain part all the way back. So as the hair gets thinner, it will be harder to use it if you don't pick up enough hair in the front. So I'm gonna take this section. I'm actually gonna use a little magic dust. Uh, this is from Heritage as well. And I'm gonna tap it in just lightly down the whole strand. This again, it's gonna just add a little grit. It's gonna keep the hair from sliding as you're working with it. So you take this, divide it into three sections and you do a normal stitch for a braid. So just a one stitch. Then we're gonna take and pick up right here at the top of her scalp, a nice little section. We're gonna go under, over, and under. So we just weaved it through. I'm gonna have her hang on to this for me. So we just weaved that hair through. Now this is the different step. So I'm gonna go through this really slow. Now you have your three pieces still. She's holding that fourth. You're gonna take this bottom piece, go under the middle. So just a nice little crossover. But this top piece, if you were braiding, normally you would take it and switch it with the middle piece. We're gonna take it and go under both pieces like that. So you still have your three pieces. We just kind of crisscrossed them so that it made a nice little like chain link effect. We're gonna go back up to the top, pick up hair and repeat. So under the top one, over the middle, under the bottom. So we weaved it through. She's gonna hang on to it for me. Now we're gonna repeat again here. The bottom piece goes under the middle and this top piece goes under both of those. So chain link. Okay, and then we're going to pick up another section from the top and start over. Under, over, under, hold, and cross under, and this one goes under both pieces. And I'm probably gonna do one more right here. Under, over, under, onto it and cross the under. Okay, now I'm gonna go, once I feel like, you can let those go, Kayla. Once I feel like I'm about halfway on her head, which I'm about there right now, I'm going to just take this, do a couple little braid pieces just to secure it. This, and secure it with an elastic. Oh, that one just broke. And then I'm gonna just repeat all of that on the other side. I'm gonna clip this out of the way for a second. Just flip it out of the way and repeat on the other side and I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay, you guys, so I have completed same steps on the left and the right. Now we need to merge them in the middle. I'm gonna take this piece on the right, put my fingers through the loop, and then take this piece on the left and just loop it through. And they're basically gonna merge together. And then you can remove these elastics. You can put in a third elastic before you do that if you want. It's up to you but basically just combine them, right? That's the goal, ultimate goal is combined. So combine them right here, then you can just remove these. However is easiest for you. So that it makes one nice, pretty continuous pullback. Now I'm gonna go back and just barely pancake these a little. I just wanna overemphasize the chain link parts of them. And I think a little emphasis will be pretty. So I'm gonna work my way up. On this 
said. Take this one last. There you go. And then you can hair wrap this elastic if you want or add something fun like a bow. Okay, so we're gonna just put a pretty little lacy bow in her hair and she's got these magical beachy curls that go with it and we are done. Okay, you guys, here's the final spin on this one. It is so pretty. Ugh. She's killing me with this hair. It, it looks, looks so amazing. Good. So good. Okay, you guys, don't forget you can subscribe to our channel by clicking the button right here. You can find a lot of our other tutorials, including a bunch more waterfall versions, by checking them out over here. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye.